What's up, everybody? Deuces, and uh, welcome to the Expanse. My name is T, and I will be your host. Uh, this is our maiden voyage, our first time doing this. So, come aboard, come aboard on the ride with us and me, and hopefully we can be doing this a long time, God willing. Okay, uh, with the Expanse. The objective is going to be for us to get together and learn and try to uh, 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 to impart and also to gain knowledge. So this is going to be the objective of the experience. Uh, and if we don't know, we will hold that thought. Hit me up on the uh, on the on a message, and we will try to find that information together. Okay, we're going to be talking about a wide right range of things, but I'm also big time baseball. So on the maiden voyage, I'm going to do uh, another video uh, later on tonight uh, in relation to the MCU and Marvel as well. But on the maiden voyage, this first time out, this test drive, this cruise is going to be about New York Yankees. 2018 state of mind. That's right. Those damn Yankees. Look at them. I'm sure it's, it's people out there hating already. But listen, not not the kid. Yankee. You know, bleed pinstripes. Okay. Um. The Yankees. Uh, 2017. They they caught everybody by surprise. Uh, they were overachievers they did a lot more than they a lot of the pundits thought they would uh, you know uh, and they shocked the whole world and what a delightful cruise it was as a New Yorker to see these kids come together uh, and, 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 and play like they did I mean it was really a joy to see that team perform uh, uh, last year uh, one game within the uh, World Series. Lost a tough seven game series to the Astros in the uh, American League Championship Series. And, uh, but when it was over, I mean, it was no way that any New Yorker, it was no way that any Yankee fan could have possibly threw their head down, got dejected, uh, needed to make counseling and therapy uh, 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 sessions with your counselor, your therapist. So I don't think it was like that. It was not the type of thing where any New Yorker had to hold their head down because this team really played over their heads and did things that uh, nobody, none of the pundits, like I said earlier, none of the pundits, nobody saw coming. So kudos to them for doing all of that. But, um, okay, again, they came within one game of the uh, World Series and you would think a team like that who achieved what they achieved would just be willing to, okay, uh, we, we didn't do this with an old team. So let's just stand pat. I mean, okay, we can make a big push again next year, which is the wise thing and the prudent thing and which 90% of the teams in the league probably would have done. But um, this is the Yankees we're talking about. So in typical... Steinbrenner ways and typical Steinbrenner mentalities this team go out and uh, and go out and acquire uh, Giancarlo Stanton which is just blew the lid off of it I mean it had teams teetering on the brink I'm sure Red Sox and Red Sox fans were you know taking long and meaningful looks every time they went across bridges uh, or, 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 or in big buildings. So, you know, I'm, I'm sure it sent shockwaves and, uh, and rippling effects throughout the entire major league. So what a move that was. You also look at, they, uh, they also picked up CC, which was a very good move. But they, uh, you know, uh, they had a good uh, 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 winter meeting. They also offloaded some, uh, some contracts. They got rid of uh, Headley. Uh, the third baseman. They didn't re-sign Todd Frazier, who I liked. I, I really did like it third. 
I also thought he was a big boon because he could also play first and could be a backup just in the event anything happens to, to, to Bird over there. Uh, and they let uh, they let uh, Castro go too, the second baseman. Uh, and I really did like Castro. But, you know, this is the way things are. They picked up a utility infielder, uh, Espinosa, I believe. They also picked up uh, an outfielder uh, in that transaction, uh, Jabari Vlash, which is, you know, probably going right to, to, to A ball, double A ball. You know, but it's okay. Uh, to acquire a bet like uh, like Giancarlo Stanton, to place that bet in the same lineup that you have an Aaron Judge and you have uh, 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 a Gary Sanchez and you have D.D. Gregorius and you have Bird with the potential to hit 35 to 40 himself with that swing in, in, the, in, in Yankee Stadium. Uh, it Wow, it's almost to a point where can you actually pitch to these guys? I mean, you got the two biggest damn bets in the game. One guy's an MVP. One guy was second in MVP uh, 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 voting and was the rookie of the year and hit 52 home runs. And then you added 59 home runs to another guy and a guy who had never played under the, the, the spotlight that he's going to play under in New York. So imagine the zest he'll have in his game when he comes out there and just to, to 40,000 people every night. I mean, listen, I, I, I know uh, 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 how depressing it must have been to play in Miami and, and to play in front of six, 7,000 people. You know, so imagine the energy that's going to be feeling uh, uh, Stanton when he when he starts playing in New York. It's going to be incredible. I mean, it's going to be something to see. Um, huh. That alone is just worth the price of admission. Just batting practice alone to see him and Sanchez and, and Judge, you know, just just golfing balls out of, out of there. I mean, it, it's going to be something that... But what it's going to do... I don't want to get ahead of myself, but what it's going to do to the lineup I mean, to have those three type of power hitters, and granted, they're all right-handed, but as a YouTuber that I, that, that, that I, that I listened to, uh, uh, Joe's McFly, said that these guys have what he called prodigious power, and these, although they're right-handed, they have this prodigious power, so they can just, I mean, you know, I mean, if you, if you catch it late and it goes out, it feels going out just as easy as it would if it was going to left field or, or, or center field. So it's, it's, it's just incredible. So, oh, wow. That's going to make this team so formidable. It's going to make this team so scary that, uh, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't want to think how the pitchers that have to face them are going to have to deal with this obstacle. I mean, you know, three, four times a game to go through those guys. It's going to be something else. Um, the the Yankees are also pretty uh, active as far as at least a lot of uh, the word play. <coughs> Excuse me. Also active as far as at least the word play. Like I said, uh, a lot of rumors, uh, a rumor mill. They're one of the kings of the rumor mill. Excuse me. Lincoln to. Uh, Garrett Cole for my god I don't know how long weeks also linked to you Darvish uh, Patrick Corbin even uh, you know Archer and uh, uh, Stroman at, at one point I believe so uh, you know I, I, I'm glad that it didn't reach uh, for a, a you Darvish or they didn't reach for Garrett Cole or any of those guys because uh, I mean I believe that what we have now could be enough I mean look it took us within one game of the World Series last year <clears throat> and we didn't have the offensive punch that we're going to have this year so <clears throat> losing that last game uh, in Houston 4-0 I don't know if you're going to have to face you know Stanton four times 
uh, in a game, he might change that outcome just alone. So it's going to give us a lot more punch. It's going to make our lineup a lot more formidable. So, you know, and we came within one game with the starting pitching that we have. And that lineup is, is back. Our starting five is intact. We're going to bring back uh, Severino. We're going to bring back Tanaka. Uh, it's going to be Sonny Gray, CC, and Jordan Montgomery. So, I mean, I honestly like our five, you know, as much as, as, as any. I mean, you know, I'm a Yankee fan, so I'm a little, maybe a little biased, but I like our five <clears throat> just about to anything out there. I like our starting five. <clears throat> Granted, barring injury and everybody stays uh, uh, healthy, I like our five. And then if we have to have somebody in a spot, we still have Chad Green. We have uh, uh, Louis Sessa. Uh, uh, we have, we can go to, even to the minors, we can go get Sheffield. They, they're, 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 they're saying he's about ready. We got Chance Adams down there. We can bring him up. So we're fine. <clears throat> so if we go into a season with our starting five and what I just explained, if we had to make an emergency stop to the uh, to to the uh, miners and, and and get one of those guys who are ready, if we had to bring in a Chad Green or or, or, or Luis Sessa or something as a, an emergency spot starter, and then we have all the clout in the world to make trades because our, our farm system is so deep, you know. Uh, so I'm glad that we didn't reach. Uh, I'm also of the opinion that we shouldn't hold prospects like chips and like 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 chips and some kind of a board game but uh, I'm glad we didn't we, we didn't get rid of a lot of them especially when you look at the Manny Machado thing at one time I was all in for Manny Machado but man to give these guys a couple of uh, pitchers and also they were one might have wanted Andrew Hard they might have wanted Frazier you are basically rebuilding a team in your division and you're helping them to get back to relevance when you should do just the opposite. You just should expedite their demise. So, you know, I'm glad they didn't. I'm glad they didn't uh, do that as much as I would have liked Machado. We'll see Machado at the end of the season, so don't worry. Um, I mean, where do we go? I mean, our bullpen. I mean, we have my God. We have one of the best in the league, if not the best in the league. We have Chapman down there. We got Batanzas, Robertson. We have Green. We have Canely. We have uh, Adam Warren, I mean, we are loaded in the bullpen to a point that if Batances plays like Batances again, and we have like a Robertson, I mean, we can also, we can play to shorten the game. We can play, you know, like a, like a six inning game. And then you see Robertson, and then you see Batances, and then you see Chapman. So we can play teams, and we pl actually play in a six inning game because our bullpen is so deep. So, um, Wow, I mean, there's so many accolades you can lay out about the Yankees. It's not even funny, but um, I the way I envision their lineup, I like to see Gardner. I like to see Gardner start off uh, and play left field. I like to him follow him up with Judge batting two in right field. I'd put Stanton as the uh, batting three, have him as my DH. I'd have Bird batting cleanup at number four and my first baseman. I would have Sanchez, uh, who is my catcher, bat uh, fifth. I would follow that up with D.D. Gregorius playing shortstop and batting sixth. I would have Aaron Hicks back him up, play center field and bat seventh. And then I would flip flop either way. I believe when I say flip flop, let me let me let me expand. I believe that it'll be. Uh, uh, Gleyber Torres, he's a lock to play second base, barring a complete disaster, the, 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 the severe yipes out there in, in spring training or uh, injury, he's a lock. Uh, and, I would, and I believe Andujar is ready to play a, 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 a third base. So I would flip-flop those two, uh, you know, have maybe Andujar bet eighth and Torres bet ninth or vice versa. But you know, I wouldn't worry about that. But um, that'll take care of itself. Uh, but look, the Yankees are just loaded. I mean, just loaded. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I think, uh, wow, February the 13th. That's when the uh, pitchers and the catchers report. My goodness, that's something, right? 
and then I guess the if the pitchers and catchers report on the 13th of, uh, of uh, February I, I guess the the full squad comes down if I know later than what's that 18 or 19 uh, well anyway and their first spring training game will be what I believe it's on February the 23rd with the Tigers so I mean I'm looking forward to it so uh, you know I mean the league had just better beware I mean, I have the Yankees as a sure shot favorite, I mean, to to take this thing. I mean, my God, I mean, what a team. I mean, what a team. And you know what, and I'm so, another thing I want to say too before before I end this video is that I hated that, that bullshit rhetoric from last year. Uh, oh, the Yankees are, you know, homegrown. Or the Yankees are, you know, these sweet kids. I mean, they, they all judge. Oh, look at him. He's, you know, the type of guy you want to, your, your daughter to meet or something. I mean, listen, listen, that narrative never fit the Yankees. I mean, when they come through, you need to be playing that theme from Star Wars, that damn evil empire shit, because that is what they are. And, uh, so I'm glad that they, that they got rid of that they got uh, uh, Stanton, because all they had to do was get him, and it just made everybody go from all oh, the homegrown wholesome Yankees to look at him, the damn evil empire, and that is just fine. Look, you can hate the Yankees all you want, because in the end, you won't be able to do a damn thing about them. So, um, yeah, bring it on. I mean, us against the world. It's like that anyway. So, uh, uh, thank you for tuning in to my uh, uh, first video. Uh, I hope I hope you subscribe. Uh, if you liked the contents, if you didn't like the contents, because we're going to be having this debate, so, so subscribe. Deuces. Peace out.